Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple with another YouTube mini class for you today. Now today we're going to be working with the Tim Holtz Distress Glitter, which is brand spanking new, was released at the CHA show just a month ago. Yes, we have it in stock. In fact, we've already started shipping customers and it's just wonderful. It mimics a glass glitter without all the heaviness and um, it's so much easier to use. So beautiful, it mimics beautiful vintage glass glitter. So we're gonna be working with that. We also have Stampendous Stamps and they bought the licensing agreement to House Mouse. So we're excited to finally have House Mouse back in our store and they're in cling, not wood mount, cling and that just, that just makes me so happy. <laughs> And we got, I'm looking around, we've got chunky embossing powder and glossy accents and a whole bunch of fun stuff to play with. So I can't wait to bring that to you. But first we have winner, winner, chicken dinner. Woo! From our last YouTube. And if you recall, I was really excited to get to 10,000 subscribers. And I'm still really excited that we're over 10,000 subscribers. But you know, you give a girl a little and she wants to take a lot. So now I want 20,000 subscribers. I wonder how long it will take us to get to 20,000 subscribers. It took like a year and a half to get to 10,000. So maybe in a year and a half, we will be at 20,000. Whoop, whoop. I'll be very excited about that. Well, I'm excited almost any time. <laughs> Every time I get a notification, somebody subscribed, I'm like, oh, somebody else, somebody else. <laughs> But we do have we do have winners and as you recall I said I would give away a gift certificate for every hundred comments on the last YouTube So we had over 600 comments and I have over I have six winners. Are you ready? Could be you I hope it's you and if it's not you this time, that's okay. Try again next time then it could be you Okay, our first winner is Shirley Lavender. Congratulations Shirley next winner is Cheryl Meadows, although I know you as Sherry and Amber, we're Amber's mom. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. <laughs> then we have Basket Cat 49. Congratulations, Basket Cat 49. And Leslie Congrove. Congratulations, Leslie. DDW. DDW, you are a winner. And Aunt Susie Q SP. Congratulations, Aunt Susie Q, you're a winner too. So all six of you have won a $25 gift certificate to Scrapbooking Made Simple. And how are you going to claim your prize? Well, you're going to email us at asksms at earthlink.net and you're gonna say, Naomi, I'm a winner. And Naomi will get you hooked up. We can either apply this, put this on an online credit so you can shop in our online store and pick your very own prize, or we can issue you a gift card if you're a local and wanna come in the store and shop. All you gotta do is email us and say, woo, I won, I won, I won. We're very excited for all of you. Now, how do you get to be a winner? Well, you have to subscribe to our YouTubes and then you have to leave a comment on this YouTube. And next time, I will pick winners from the people who commented on this YouTube. And the comment can be anything from, Hey Stacy, how you doing? To say hi to the SMS girls, to love the distress glitter. It's whatever you want to be, as long as it's nice. <laughs> and I'll approve it and it'll get posted. And then you go into the drawing. So congratulations. Now announcements about the shop that didn't hop sell. Every order has been printed. Yay, and we have started processing the 26th. How are you going to know if your order's in process or not? Well, we have a new system where once we charge your credit cards, because we don't charge your credit cards until we, until we start to process your order, you're going to get an email with the receipt for your credit card, and that's gonna let you know that your order is now in process. So if you've received a receipt for your credit card purchase through the email, you know you're in process, and that's the best way to know. We had about 800 orders on the 26th and about 400 on the 27th, so it's gonna take a little time to get through those two days. And once those two days are good to go, then we should be able to get through almost everything else the rest of the 17 days without much of a problem. We also are processing orders placed after the sale. So if you've placed an order on the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, we're processing those orders right now too. So we're doing them in tandem. That way, if you have a new order in, you're not gonna wait for all of those sale orders before we get to yours. So no worries, we're getting through them as quickly as possible. And as soon as your order is charged, you're gonna get an email. And as soon as your order ships, you're gonna get an email with your tracking number. So woo, <laughs> very excited to have all this new new automation for our online store. I'm very, very happy about it, as are the SMS girls. <laughs> okay, so 
I think we're gonna get started for today, and if you hear any noise in the background, just know that that's Mark. He is the guy who comes and paints all of our front windows for us, and he did the Evil Queen and the Snow White image on our front windows for the shop that didn't hop. He is here today taking those windows down, and it's very sad. It took him like three days, three full days, to paint those windows, and in a matter of an hour or two, it'll all be gone. But he'll be back to do our Christmas windows because I love Christmas and we have to have pretty windows. So anyway, if you hear any noise in the background, it's just Mark, so pay him no attention. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tilt on down and we're going to get started for today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Down we go. Bye. All right. Oop. Let's see. What do we have for you? Here we go. No. There we go. What do we have for you today? We are playing with House Mouse today and Distress Glitter and Glossy Accents and just a whole bunch of stuff. And this was a card that we made for a make and take last week. And I posted it on the website and everybody just absolutely loved the, the cute little House Mouse stamps and the Tim Holtz glitter. So I wanted to show you how to use the glitter in the best possible way and all the different uses for it. But I also wanted to show off the house mouse stamps and that's where we're gonna start really quickly. We used colored pencils to do this card and I know I've gone through colored pencils before but for those of you who are new, I'm just gonna give a really brief overview of colored pencils and how to use them and then we're gonna move on. So I am going to start with a blank piece of paper and I'm using a smooth piece of paper because I'm stamping on it. Now I'm going to be using watercolors but I'm not necessarily using watercolor paper and you don't have to use watercolor paper but if you're not you do have to be careful how much water you apply to the paper so it doesn't get those little fuzzy balls on it. Now this is a whirlwind paper and it is a white smooth. We now have whirlwind paper in smooth and I think 40 or 50 different colors. I can't wait. It's, it's on its way. They gave me some of the white to play with. But it's beautiful paper and it's awesome for stamping on. I'm going to take my Memento ink. And when you're using water with your inks, you need to be sure that the ink you're going to stamp with is not going to run. Memento ink does not run when it gets wet. If I was using a Distress ink, now Distress ink works with water. It's meant to work with water. So if I was going to stamp in a Distress ink and then watercolor, the Distress ink would smear all over it. Memento ink really is the best ink for stamping and then coloring in because no matter what you use, you're not going to smear that black. And it is the best ink for Copic. It's actually the only ink for Copic if you were going to color your stamps in with your Copic markers. You need to use Memento. So I am going to take my house mouse stamp and I've got it right here. I do want to explain a little something about Stampenda stamps. Boy, I can't get it off. Stampenda stamps are a little different than a typical cling stamp. Normally a cling stamp is just this rubber on the outside and that clings right to your clear block. Stampendus has on several of their clear, uh, cling stamps, they have this extra little layer of plastic. Do not remove that. When you get your Stampendus stamps, you will get it with an acetate sheet over the top so there's this acetate sheet over the top. Can you see that? And then attached to that is this clear piece. Can you see how I'm, I've got this clear piece that's coming off? You do want to, you, you know, put the acetate sheet, that's your storage sheet, and you can put that back into, if you're storing them in your packaging, you can put that back in your packaging, but you don't want to peel this extra sheet off. It's glued down to the gray foam. That's what gets clinged to your clear block. That's what clings it, is that extra little piece of plastic. And that's different than any other stamp out on the market. And how do I know that you're not supposed to peel it off? Because the first time I got Stampenda stamps, I'm like, what is this thing? And do I peel it off? And I got a quarter of a way down before I said, you know, Stacy, probably not supposed to do that. Now, if you have, it's okay. Just take a little sequing tape or a little bit of glue and glue it back. The stamp's still gonna work just fine. But now that you know, don't take that clear piece off, okay? So we're just gonna mount it right to it. Sticks beautifully. 
and if for some reason it stops sticking, any of your cling stamps, just wash your stamps and wash your block. Chances are you have too much oils from your hands or embossing powder, but all you have to do is wash them with a little bit of Dawn dishwashing detergent, let them dry, and everything's going to cling right back together again. Now I'm going to take my memento ink and I'm just going to ink up my stamp. And I've got my gush, I've got my squishy stamp mat, and of course you all know that this is cut, it's so much bigger when we, you know, when they come in, but we cut them down to size because you really don't need that big of a piece. So if you do buy one, know it's going to be cut in half for you so you can share it with somebody or have two pieces, but even that half, this is a quarter of the stamp mat. So one stamp mat for $3.99 or whatever it is goes a really long way and they last forever. I'm going to take my stamp, I'm going to line it up on my paper, and I'm going to give a nice push. Now I'm not going to do chest compressions, I'm not going like this, I'm just giving a nice all even pressure. It's all over, nice even pressure, and because I'm not stamping on a hard surface, because I'm stamping into something that's got some give, the stamp is going to do much better. It's got something to sink down into. If I was stamping on a hard surface, I wouldn't get as good of an impression. Okay, up. Beautiful. Done. The stamps stamp so beautiful. And I'm so glad to have House Mouse back. Yay for Stampendous and getting the licensing agreement and buying it. We love it. We, we are just over the moon that we have these stamps now. So I have got my stamped image and I'm going to take watercolor pencils. Now most of you have these already in your stash and if you don't, you really should. They're very inexpensive. $13.99 gets you 24 colors and of course they'll be on a YouTube Yummy. And what you can do with this is easy. These are perfect for children and seniors. They don't make a mess and you can't go wrong with them. You really can't make an oops. I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to start to color. And I'm just going to go kind of around the outside of my candy corn mouse. And I'm just going to color in. Now, there's really no being neat or nice and pretty about it because you're going to use the water. And that water is going to move this color. So can you see, I didn't color in my entire image. I just colored around the outside. I'm going to take my paintbrush and in an expensive paintbrush. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a paintbrush. A little bit of my water. Now you want to have your paintbrush wet but you don't want it soaking wet. And I'm going to take and I'm going to grab some of that and I'm going to pull it to the center. And the water is going to take that pencil and make it into a paint. So I didn't color beautifully, I just kind of scribbled it in there. And now I'm just moving it where I want it to go. And it's just really easy. And it creates its own highlights and its own shadows. Done. How easy was that? <laughs> See, easy peasy works for me. This is my kind of crafting. <laughs> I do appreciate how some of you can spend hours on a card or a page. I really do. I am in awe of you. I just, I guess I'm a, I gotta have it now kind of girl and I need instant gratification. <laughs> so if it takes too long, I just don't have the patience for it. So I'm gonna color in some of my yellow because of course the next color on the candy corn is yellow. Then again, I'm not coloring beautifully. I'm just getting that color down there. See, I just kind of outlined him. I didn't color in the hole because I want that color to work for me. My dad always said, uh, work smart, not hard. So we're letting the color work smart for us. And I'm just going to add the water and just start moving that color where I want it to go. And you see, because of the memento ink, it's not sm uh, smearing when I add the water. If I was using almost any other kind of ink out there, it would have smeared. We don't want that. Okay, second layer is done. <laughs> Can you see how fast and simple this is? And you would just go in there and color what you want. That's water coloring. It is so simple. And yes, you absolutely can blend your colors. You can mix your colors. 
There's really nothing you can't do with these pencils. You just have to get them and play with them. And on flowers, I mean, we've used them many times in YouTubes. You can go back and watch several YouTubes where we've used them. The blending ability is just phenomenal. And really, for seniors, for kids, for the first time crafter, for somebody who's just starting, it's a no-brainer because you just can't go wrong. It It's successful every time. And when you're crafting, that's important. You want to feel like, oh, I did that. And better than that, you want somebody to say, you did that? <laughs> oh, I keep knocking over my glossy accents. Okay, so that's watercoloring. And that is with our Essentials watercolor pencils. You get 24 for the $13.99. I don't think you need more than 24 because you can take the colors and you can blend them to make your own colors. So, I mean, yes, there's sets out there that have 100 colors, but really if you can, I wonder if I can do it. Let me, if you can take a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow and a little bit of water and you can blend them together to make your own color. If you can do that, 24 colors should be more than enough. 24 colors should be more than enough. Okay, so watercolor pencils. Easy to do, you don't have to have watercolor paper. If you're stamping with them, try to have a really nice smooth paper and I think you'll be really, really happy with it. We also carry the Basil 100 pound cardstock, which is smooth too. That also works fabulously. Or if you really want to use watercolor paper, we do have watercolor paper. You get 15 sheets for a buck 99. Can't go wrong with that either. Okay, moving on. The next thing I want to show you is the Tim Holtz Distress Glitter. So this is the Rage. This is what everybody was talking about at the show. This bottle kind of melted. <laughs> on the way to us. Somehow it melted so it became an SMS bottle. But the colors are yummy, they're rich, they're beautiful, but there is a way to work with these better than another way and I want to talk to you about that. First off, the glitter really does mimic a vintage glass glitter. I almost, I don't even, I mean I guess it's a glitter but it doesn't have that that blingy property that, let's say, the Elizabeth Crafts polished silk glitter has, where it's just happy. This is truly Tim Holtz. It's got that subdued, mellow, distressed, vintage look and feel to it. Now, once you put it down, it doesn't move. This isn't a glitter that's going to flake off and get all over the place. It really is. It stays where it's supposed to be and it does not make a mess. But you do need to use a liquid glue with it. That's the important thing. This is not a glitter that you want to, ooh, look at my nails. See my nails? I did them with, I'm trying to go outside the box this time. <laughs> I put gold on them. <laughs> I was like, oh, look at that. <laughs> But I digress. Anyway, you don't want to um, you don't want to use Suk Wang tape with this glitter. That's not the tape that you want to use. It's important you use a liquid glue. Now today I'm going to be using glossy accents, and glossy accents is usually used to highlight something and make it look like it's an epoxy. So I could take my glossy accents and put it over my candy corn, and my candy corn would then dry with this high, beautiful sheen to it almost like a resin or an epoxy. But what a lot of people don't know is Glossy Accents is also a glue, and it's a great glue. Now, I'm using it today because when I do this, if for some reason I miss a little spot, the Glossy Accents dries with that gloss effect to it. So you're not gonna see this empty hole, this little matte spot that has nothing, because it's going to have a reflective property. If you don't have glossy accents, that's okay. Scrappy glue, 3M, anything that dries clear will work. Your ultimate glue will work. I just really like the glossy accents because when I'm using the glitter, I wanna make sure that if I miss a spot, there's still some reactive um, element to it so it doesn't look like there's a hole. So the glitter is a, it's not a mylar type glitter and it's not really chunky. It lays really flat, although it has that look of chunkiness to them. Let me pull up the, the purple, because the purple is absolutely gorgeous. So it's got that glass glitter effect, only you don't have to worry about hurting yourself or having those big chunky pieces of glass glitter. And because it lays flat, it's easier to use. Isn't that just so darling? I love the purple. This is Seedless Preserve, and it's a winner. <laughs> 
<laughs> so when we were talking to Tim at the show, somebody asked him, well, how did you pick the colors? Because he only released 24 colors. And I think there's 49 colors of distress. And he said, we put all the names into a basket or a hat and pulled each name out. And that's how we picked them. Brilliant. I mean, I don't, that's phenomenal to me, but yay. We love the colors that you picked. Love this. And you can see it's got some, some glitterous sheen to it, but it's far more subdued and far more muted, which for a lot of people who don't like that blingy look of glitter, this is an awesome choice, an awesome alternative. Now there's many different ways to use it. And I'm gonna start with just on paper, just on paper. Now you see I don't have a white sheet of paper, I have a colored sheet of paper. And the reason I'm doing that is because when you're using a glitter that's a little bit bigger, the, the, the particles of it are a little bit bigger than a microfine or an ultrafine glitter, you wanna make sure that you don't have any holes. And if I was working on white paper, it would take more glitter to make cover up every little white space. You know, the glitter is going to lay on top of each other and you wanna make sure you don't see any white underneath. So I'm starting with a colored paper that is close, doesn't have to be exact, to the color glitter that I'm going to use. That way, if for some reason something doesn't get covered, again, you're not gonna see that hole in the glitter and you're not gonna try to get in there and, and fix it. You're gonna be just fine. And I am gonna start with my glossy accents. Let me get my memento before it dries out. I am gonna use my glossy accents. Now I'm just gonna take my glossy accents and I'm just gonna put it on. And I'm gonna use my most expensive tool ever, my finger. And I'm just gonna smear it all the way around. You know what, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna smear it all the way around. Now, can you see that gloss on there? That's how it's going to dry. It's going to dry with that high sheen. So if for some reason I do miss a space, I've taken care of that because I've used colored paper to mimic the color of the glitter, and I've used a medium that dries with a very high gloss. Now I'm just gonna put it on there. I'm gonna take my seedless perverts preserves, and I'm going to dump it right on. And yes, I'm a dumper, I know. It's because it all goes back into the bottle anyway, so what difference does it make? And it just grabs onto that glossy accents and holds in place. Holds in place. Now, I'm not gonna really do a tap until I'm all done. Let me just move that a little bit forward. I'm not gonna do a tap of this until it's completely dry. And at that point, that's when I'm gonna brush any of the excess off. And when it's fully dry, it really doesn't move. It just stays right where it's supposed to be. It doesn't make a mess. It doesn't flake and, and um, fall off. It holds where it's supposed to hold. And that's the beauty of the Glossy Accents with his glitter. Glossy Accents is a Ranger product. Distress Glitter is a Ranger product. They work well together. So then I'm gonna dump this right back into my container. and it's good to use for the next time. So I just put it right back in, and I just take a card base. I just use one of my cards, because it's already scored and folded to make it my funnel, and I'm a happy girl. So what did we do? Just on paper, I used a paper that was similar in color. That way I'm sure that everything is gonna have an all over coverage. And I've used glossy accents, so if there is a, a hole somewhere, it will dry with some brilliance, some reflective properties to it. So it doesn't look like it's matte and that there's really a hole. Really easy to do. So we did the green, I had a green sample, and we just used the green. Great way to use up your scraps when you're using your Distress Glitter. Just go grab a scrap of paper in the same color. Get rid of those scraps. Easy to do. So that's one way of using Distress Glitter with paper. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna use it on chipboard. Now we just cut out some very basic shapes of chipboard with our Big Shot machine and our dies. And I wanna say this is one of Tim's ovals I, the Movers and Shapers ovals. But again, same thing with chipboard. 
It's brown. Now, if I'm using a brown glitter, or if I'm using, you know, the one of the glitters that is close to that color, I'm fine. But if I'm going to use a red glitter, I'm going to want to go ahead and take an ink, whether you use Tim's Distress Ink or your Memento Ink or your Stazon ink, or whatever it is that you've got handy, your dew drop size, whatever you've got handy, I'm just gonna add a little color to it. Because I'm gonna use red glitter and I want that background to be similar to the color that I'm using. So I just added a little bit of Tim's Distress ink to it. Easy to do. Here's one that's already dry and it's just got that little bit of red to it. Same thing, take my glossy accents, put it right on, take my finger, smush it around, get it all over. Now if I let this dry, if I just put the glossy accents on here and let it dry, it would look like a, a beautiful um, resin oval disc. That's what Glossy Accents does. It doesn't change the color. It adds a magnificent finish to it. So if you need to highlight something out, one of the customers for the that came in had said, what is Glossy Accents? And when I explained it to her, she's like, oh my gosh, when I'm coloring my Copics and I've got black hair on a girl, I can take that Glossy Accents and kind of go in there and add some of it to highlight some of that hair so it stands. And I'm like, oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to take my red glitter. I'm just going to dump it right on over. Tap it off. And it's done. And here we've got a circle that I did earlier. Done. Ready to dry. You need to let it dry. A mm, couple, five, maybe 10, 15 minutes to dry. But of course, it's a Tim Holtz product. You know what that means? That means if you really need it done now, because again, I don't like to wait. If you really need it done now, you can absolutely take your heat tool and heat it because it does not react to heat. It's perfectly safe, not a problem. And you just take your heat tool in there, heat it up a few, you know, a minute or so, not even that much probably, and it's dry instantly for you. You have no problem when you add heat to the Distress Glitter. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, I just think it's absolutely phenomenal. And being that it doesn't have that high bling element to it, it's great for guy cards. It's great for, for when you just need something on your card but not over the top. And, and with the properties that it has of the, of the vintage glass glitter without all that um, chunkiness and difficulty in using glass glitter because of course it's sharp, it's just very easy, very easy. But you know, Tim does a great job. Okay, so we've used it on paper. Woo! And we've used it on chipboard. Now, it will adhere to metal, it will adhere to plastic, it will adhere to just about anything based on the type of glue you use. And Glossy Accents is an all over medium. So you can use Glossy Accents on metal, you can use it on glass, you can use it on acrylic, you can use it on paper. It's just an all purpose glue, as is your um, ultimate craft glue that we use for Susan's Gardens. So I wonder if you can see, no you can't. On my, on my little mat here, my, my craft mat, the Glossy Accents dried and it's left a, it's left a high sheen right there. So glossy accents, very fun to play with, and the colors of the Distress Glitter are just a little bit of happiness. So we've got that, and we've got that. The next thing I want to show you really quickly, we had a lot of questions about a card that was out for a sample. Let me show the card. A card that was out for a sample when we did our make and take. Here it is. So this is a house mouse card right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but the little white dots, they wanted to know, how did you get the snow to do that? What did you use to make that snow? Oh, simple. <laughs> we used product from Stampendous. We used their chunky, um, chunky white embossing powder. But this is different than any other emboss embossing powder that you will see because it's just that. It is very, very chunky. Tap 
that off. It it's not like the. Can you see? It has like it almost looks like salt. It's like big pieces of sea salt, and that's different than the ultra fine or detailed embossing powder that most of you have from Stampendous. That detailed embossing powder is so fine. There's not a chunky bit in it. But look at how chunky that is. What do you do with this? Simple. Let's just say that I had a card and that this, I wanted to put snow. This was all colored in and it was all happy. And I wanted to put snow on it. Well, let's get the colored one so it's a little bit easier to see. I wanted to put snow. Don't know why it's snowing in October, but go with me on this, okay? <laughs> you would take your chunky embossing powder and you would literally just drizzle it on. See, it's so big that it bounces off the paper. You would drizzle it on. No, you do not use a Versamark or an embossing medium. Can you see? I don't know because it's white. But if you can see, it's drizzled on. Woo, drizzled on my guy. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one of these new tools that Stampendous has come out with, which is brilliant. Because they do a lot of um, the frantage, uh, mica, and things of that nature, embossing powders, a lot of it has to be heated from below the card. And man, when you're holding that card and you've got that heat tool, that is hot, let me tell you. So they came out with a tool that will hold your card for you better than your tweezers because you're not having to hold the pressure and I would take this and I would use my heat gun and I would heat it from below until that snow melts into my paper. You're not going to heat it from above because when you do that there's no embossing medium to hold those little bits of embossing powder in place. There's no Versamark or an embossing medium so the minute you take it and you put your a heat gun to the top of it, it's just going to blow away. You heat it from the bottom, you heat through the paper, and it will melt into the paper. So you could take a little bit of the chunky white, you could add a little bit of glitter. In fact, they have a, a white shabby glitter that's got white and a little bit of bling to it if you wanted your snow to have bling to it and you heat from the bottom, but do it while you're using one of their new tools because then your hand doesn't get burnt. <laughs> Been there, done that. Love the tools. Love, love, love. Let me just shake this off real quick. And when it's all done, after you've heated it, that's how you get that awesome snow effect. And you can see they put more down here, so you just put more down on the bottom where you want more. It's just randomly thrown on that card and heated from the bottom, and it was easy to do. The tools are right here. You get three, four, seven dollars, and of course they'll be on a YouTube Yummy. The glare of that. So, really, you don't. I, I mean, if you get one, you can absolutely share it with a friend. But um, I don't know. You know, if you get the three pack, I only need one. But you get three, so that's all good. You can share it. <laughs> Okay, so what have we shown so far? We've shown how to do the watercoloring. Don't know what I did with my watercoloring, but we've shown how to do the watercoloring, which is what we've done here. We've talked about the ink that you need to use if you're going to do watercoloring. You need to use a memento because that's not going to smear. You saw when I, when I put water to it, my ink did not get all over the place. It stayed, oh, there's still color on my pencil. There's my ink stayed where it's supposed to stay and that's important. If you were to use several other kinds of inks including the Tim Holtz Distress Ink it's going to smear because that Distress Ink is meant to work with water. It's meant to to have um, a reaction to water. So when you're stamping use your mementos either your full size or your dew drop it doesn't make any difference the ink inside is still the same. So full size or dew drop but use your mementos. So we talked about water coloring and going in there and how easy it was. We've talked about the Tim Holtz Distress Glitter and how it is a glitter but it doesn't have that high vibrance, that high um, mica or, or mylar type you know, shimmer to it. It's very subdued, very much Tim Holtz and it comes in 24 colors. Yes, they'll be on a YouTube Yummy and that you absolutely need to use some kind of a liquid glue with it. It is not good with Sukwang tape. 
It will work, but I don't think you're gonna be happy with the results. Use some sort of a liquid glue, and we like glossy accents because if you happen to miss a space, like around my edges, it's not exactly on my edges, but you can't even tell because that glossy accent has dried with a, uh, a sheen to it, with that high gloss to it, so it looks like the glitter's there. Yay, <laughs> it's a good cheat. And Glossy Accents comes in two sizes. It comes in the small bottle and it comes in the big bottle. I recommend the big bottle. We use the small bottle for our make and takes, but either way, as long as you have some, I think you'll be really, really happy with it. And don't forget, you can use it to do other things. You can just go right over, gosh, you can go right over whatever you've worked on. Oh, here we go. I could go right over, what I've got here, uh, there we go with my glossy accents, and rub it on my, my little candy corn there, and when he dries, he'll dry with that high sheen. So not only is it a glue, but and you see it didn't change the color at all, but it made him pop a little bit. Just adds a high resin effect, and that's what glossy accents is. So we've talked about glossy accents, we've talked about the glitter, how you really want to use a liquid glue, and, um, and you don't want to brush it off until it's completely dry. You want to let it dry before you brush it off. And once you've brushed it off and got all that excess off, it stays in place. It does not move. Easy to use, really easy to use. And that you want to color whatever you're doing first. So if you're gonna put it on paper, try to use a paper that's comparable in color if you're going to use chipboard, ink your chipboard a comparable color. If you're going to use lace, try put it on lace, you can put it on lace, you can put it on acrylic, you can put it on metal. Whatever you want to do with it, it's just that versatile. Very easy to use. And then we talked about the chunky embossing powder because we had a lot of questions on how did you get that to look like <laughs> snow? And that's it, by Stampendous with their new little tool so you don't burn your hands. <laughs> okay, I have got oodles and oodles of samples to show you. So let me just kind of get this stuff out of the way. And I'm gonna start with this one. Here we die cut out the flowers. And then we, and this is from, I think this is Heartfelt Creations die. And then we stamped them and we filled it in, we colored them in with the glitter. See, it's beautiful, but it's a little bit more tame, a little bit more mellow. A softer look, I guess. The softer side of glitter. <laughs> oh, that, that works, the softer side of glitter. So we have this one. And here, we went ahead and we used a die. And we die cut out the swirls in the yellow, and then took our glossy accents, just went in there, scrolled right on top of it, and put the Distress Glitter right on top of it. Very pretty. So you use it with your die cuts, you use it with your stamps. Here we made stripes. All of this is done with Distress Glitter to make the stripes. And look at how beautiful that color is. I think that's the pink. I don't know if it's spun sugar or what because my little bottle is seen better days, but boy, it just looks gorgeous. And look at those stripes. And because it's not blingy, they're very subdued. It looks just lovely. You could do this card in brown or in blues, um, in blacks, whatever, change the bow out, change this, and it could be a great guy card, even though you used glitter. <laughs> okay, then we have the green of the card that we did for the make and take. As you can see, it's down there, and once it's down, it just doesn't move. And we did a Christmas house mouse, where we just did a little bit on the candy canes. So we just went in there and just put a little bit of our glossy accents on some of the candy cane to add. So it doesn't have to be the entire thing. We also used the rock candy to make his little Christmas outfit and the snow. We use the rock candy distressed glitter to do that. Then we actually did the candy corns out of glitter. Look at how cute. Same thing, just went in there and put a little bit down 
and did one color at a time and easy to do and the rock candy is on the top. So we have two of those where we've done with the glitter. Isn't that a sweet Halloween card? Okay, then we took another Stampendous stamp, the big sunflower, and we stamped it. We used our detailed embossing powder, our gold detailed embossing powder, embossed it, and then went in and filled it with the glitter. Isn't that a stunner? Yeah, Yvette. She does the most amazing job. <laughs> if you ever call the shop and you're lucky enough to talk to Yvette, she does the most amazing job. She really does. I just love this card. And it was all done with just the two colors of the Distress Glitter. And this one is, oh, I don't know what this one is. I think this one is Mustard Seed and this one is Rusty Hinge. Yes, Rusty Hinge to make her card. Absolutely lovely. Then we have some samples that were sent to us from Stampendous. And I want to show you those two because that shows off some of the Christmas. I've already shown you that one. Then we've got him right there. Isn't that so cute? And this is showing off some of the house mouse stamps that we have in. Aren't these darling cards all done by Stampendous? Thank you, Stampendous. Really cute. We're so glad to have house mouse back in. And then there are other samples with the Halloween house mouse. Now this isn't all the house mouse that they have. They have more. These are just some of the samples that they were able to do. Okay. So I think we went over quite a bit today. We talked about the watercolor pencils and we talked about watercolor paper and that you don't necessarily have to use the watercolor paper. You can use just a smooth white or a smooth paper to watercolor on. Just be careful on how much water you use. We talked about glossy accents. We talked about the Tim Holtz Distress Glitters. We talked about Memento inks. We talked about Distress inks. Just a whole bunch of stuff and our new little tool which makes embossing a whole lot easier. Now, what are we going to have on a YouTube Yummy sale? We are going to have all the house mouse stamps. Oh, let me show some of the house mouse stamps. We're going to have, all, well, actually, we're going to have all the Stampendous. All your Stampendous will be on a YouTube Yummy. So not only the stamps, but all their uh, frantage and the glitters and the embossing powders. We'll put all of that on a YouTube Yummy. And remember, when using the house mouse stamps or any of the Stampendous clear sta cling stamps, cling, don't take off this extra piece this extra clear please make sure you leave that on okay so we'll have that on a YouTube yummy we'll have all the distress glitter on a YouTube yummy we'll have the watercolor pencils on a YouTube yummy we'll do glossy accents on a YouTube yummy and I think that would be a great sale it'll all be on sale for you still just love that card <laughs> I do I do I do all right this is me I'm gonna tilt on up and I'm going to say, hey, everybody, it's me, Stacy. And where are you going to get all of these great products? Well, you're going to get them on our website or in our retail store. And that would be the website is www.shopatsms.com. The word shop, the word at sms.com or scrapbooking-made-simple.com. And if you're local, and local means anywhere in California, Nevada, Arizona, Oregon, you guys are all local for us, come on down and come visit us. We're, uh, we're getting ready for our three-day crop right now. The girls are going to be arriving soon. So we've got 36 coming in for the next three days cropping for absolutely free. It costs not a dime. And the goodies we put out and everything's on sale for them. So if you find a, a way you want to come and visit us, come visit us for one of the crops too. You'll, you'll have an absolute blast. Um, but okay, everything's going to be on sale. And I congratulations to all the winners. And if you want to be a winner, don't forget to comment on this YouTube. And it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.